Hi, I want to put together just a quick video to coincide with the Prometheus Podman demo that I've written up. So today we'll just be running Prometheus in a Podman container. We'll then be collecting system metrics using the node exporter and finally visualizing everything using Grafana. So to start, let's pull down the repo. All right, once we have that, let's navigate into the Prometheus Podman demo directory. So for some long commands, I will be just copying these from the readme file. Um, and to start, let's just take a look at what's going on in the Prometheus configuration. So I'll cap Prometheus.yaml. And we can see here, we have set the scrape interval to five seconds. Uh, the default's 15, but for the sake of the demo, I wanted to set this a little bit lower so that we can get a bit more data uh, very quickly. Uh, next, we can see the script configs. So we'll be grabbing from two endpoints. One will be the Prometheus container, and the other one will be the node exporter. You can see that they're both running localhost, but Prometheus is running on port 9090, and node exporter is running on its default port of 9091. Sorry, uh, 9100. All right, now we have this. Let's start the node exporter. I'm going to clear my screen. So just be pulling down the image and we can see here that we're just putting this on the host network and just give it a name of Prometheus Demo Node Exporter. So let's use uh, Podman PS just to confirm this is running. All right, looks good. Next, we're gonna wanna spin up the Prometheus container. So just copy this again from the readme. I already had the Prometheus image there so it didn't have to pull anything down. Uh, we can see the command looks very similar to the Node Exporter one with the main difference being we're mounting the prometheus.yaml uh, that we've copied into etsy prometheus prometheus.yaml. That is the default directory for the Prometheus configuration uh, inside the Docker container. So we'll use Popman PS just to confirm everything's running as expected. All right, looks good. Uh, next, let's open up our browser and just uh, take a look around the Prometheus UI. So we have this running on localhost on port 9090. So you'll get uh, brought to the graph page by default. You can you know, try any problem QL you want to try out here, look at any metrics. Uh, but to start, we're actually just going to go to status and then targets, uh, just to make sure that we see everything is running as expected here. So we can see we have both jobs that we had defined in the prometheus.yaml file. We have the node exporter and Prometheus. Minimize this. And now to pull in a dashboard, we'll actually want to use uh, Grafana. So clear my screen again and just starting up a Grafana container. So again, just like Prometheus and the node exporter, we're just running this on the host network. All right, we'll use Palm NPS again just to confirm this is running. All right, now that we have all these running, let's uh, jump back into our browser. And we'll go to localhost on 3000, which is the default port for Grafana. All right, this will bring you to their login page where their default login is admin and admin. I will prompt you to create a new password. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'm just gonna skip this step. All right, now that we have Grafana running, uh, we need to link this to Prometheus so we can actually query it for data. So to do that, we're actually gonna go to the cog icon here for configuration and select data sources. Once we're here, select add data source. Uh, now, by default, uh, Grafana has a lot of built-in uh, different uh, time series databases um, as data sources, as well as various other uh, options, such as uh, SQL and tracing. But what's great is there's awesome Prometheus integration, so we're just going to select Prometheus here. All right, since this is all running on the same host, we're going to just specify the Prometheus URL, which is localhost on port 9090. We shouldn't need to change any other settings, so we'll scroll to the bottom and select Save and Test. All right, so it was able to successfully reach out to the Prometheus server, so showing that's working. Next, uh, we'll want to import a dashboard. So Grafana's website actually has a ton of great uh, built-in dash or pre-built dashboards, um, and we can import those quite easily. So to do that, we're going to go to the plus icon uh, to create a dashboard and select Import. I have left a link uh, to the dashboard we're going to be using, which is the Node Exporter Quick Start and Dashboard. It's a pre-built one uh, made by Grafana Labs. I've also left uh, the ID in the README as well. So we'll just paste this into the import uh, via grafana.com section and select load. 
Now, if you want to change any of the options here, you could, but I'm going to leave it at the default, you know, leave the same name and leave the folder as general. Once we import it, it will bring you directly to that new dashboard. So we can see it automatically selected the Prometheus data source that we had set. And it's using the 9100, um, sorry, the node exporter running on port 9100 here. If you had multiple, um, multiple instances running node exporter, you would well select them from the drop down menu here. So if we want to take a look at any of the data, uh, it hasn't been running all that long yet, so we don't have uh, too much happening. But if we zoom in to, say, five minutes, uh, we can get a much better look at what's going on with the system. So I definitely encourage you guys to just try out um, playing around with both Prometheus and Grafana. If you want to see kind of how these graphs are generated, you can actually select these. And if you go to Explore, um, this will bring you to the same spot here, uh, label Explore. And you can just play around with uh, PromQL to uh, just generate different graphs. So if you want to see some of the pre-built ones, this is a great way to see how stuff has been built. All right, I'm going to minimize that. And just a final wrap up here as well. If you want to clean any of these up, I left some commands down at the bottom. So uh, we can actually just run, I should have this in my history here. So we can actually do podman rm minus f to just stop all of these and uh, remove them. And if you want to remove the images as well, you can use podman rmi. And I have a couple other Prometheus, Prometheus containers uh, that are stopped at the moment, so it won't remove that image, but everything else has been cleaned up. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.